The Refraction First Break Picking module is used to pick first breaks and generate a refraction static solution. There are two methods of picking first breaks with this module, automatic and manual. We will cover both methods in this video. Be certain all source and receiver line number and SPs are correctly inserted during geometry or data export. To set up this module, load in your gathers with geometry already applied. Then, connect those gathers to the Refraction First Break Picking module. You will need most of the vistas for this module, so go ahead and add all the views. First, we will cover the automatic picking method. This method uses a user-selected LMO function to guide the automatic picking procedure. To begin, go to the location map and, from the Set Control Item menu, Ensure that bin gather is selected. Then pick a location on your line or volume. Go to the bin gather vista, which should now display traces from the area around your selection. Set the LMO trend function at or just above the first arrivals of your gather. Make sure you follow the trend as closely as possible. Left click to set points and right click to remove points. Pick the LMO at various locations across your volume. The LMO will automatically interpolate in between points. Your goal is to pick enough LMO points so that you can click confidently anywhere in your volume and see an interpolated LMO function that fits your data fairly closely. Next, test the auto picking parameters. Go to the location map again and set selected source and selected receiver and choose a location. Go to your shot and receiver vistas, which should display the source and receiver at that spot. Click the auto picking current source action item and G platform will automatically pick the first breaks for that shot. You can also use the same procedure to pick the first breaks on your sample receiver gather. Adjust the parameters under Automatic Picking Parameters and rerun the auto picking on shot and receivers until you are happy with the picking. If you need to adjust the phase of the picking, use the drop down menu under the Manual Picking Parameters. When you have a suitable set of automatic picking parameters, use the Auto Picking Action item to pick first breaks across the entire volume. QC your picks using the QC view here. There is a distance property which shows all picks around the selected point in a given distance. Clicking on the view will select the corresponding shot and receiver gathers for further QC. If you wish to manually edit your picks or just pick first breaks manually, simply click on the shot or receiver gather where you would like to set a pick. Manually setting pick locations like this defines a line that G Platform uses to set first break picks. You can set the parameters for how this procedure works under the manual picking params. You may find manual picking easier with an LMO applied to the data, which you can do by changing the LMO type. Next, you can use the Repick Source Supergather action item to use your manual picks as a guideline to pick first breaks in the aperture you define under Supergather Picking Parameters. First break picks can be removed by right clicking and dragging a box over the picks you want to remove. Alternately, you can draw a line on the QC window also by right clicking and dragging. Choose an option here to remove first break picks inside or outside of the area defined by the three parallel lines. The area covered by these lines can be adjusted in the QC window parameters. Once the first breaks for the volume have been fully picked, you can run the refraction statics procedure. Adjust the parameters for the solver here. Increasing the number of iterations will increase the runtime of the procedure. The local and global iterations and apertures affect how the module will run over the shortwave and longwave statics. Once parameters have been set, simply run the Refraction FB module to generate the refraction statics. It will also display the velocity model vista for those statics here. At this stage, it is often useful to use the Statics QC module to investigate the results of refraction statics calculation. 
Simply connect the output refraction statics from the module to statics QC and output the vistas. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, or to download your own evaluation copy of GPlatform, please visit us at geomage.com. Check out our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe for more GPlatform updates and tutorials.